Shalom. All praises, blessings, glories, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to my Ella apostles and bishop elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth, as well of men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the Silan of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom are scattered in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. To you I say Shalom and Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Rataza. This lesson is edifying and informative. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 5. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, an evil and only evil, behold, is come, an end is come. The end is come, it watcheth for thee. Behold, it is come. The morning is come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come. The day of trouble is near. And not the sounding again of the mountains. And now will I surely pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish mine anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. And mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. I will recompense thee according to thy ways, and thine abominations that are in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh that smiteth. Verse 25 Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3 For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 26. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priest and counsel from the ancients. In the news from the RT, inflation squeeze deepening in equality in Britain data. The UK's lackluster economic performance is weighing on disposable incomes among the poorest, the latest figures show. Britain's poorest households are among the worst hit by the cost of living crisis as living standards are struggling to keep up with inflation. According to the latest figures released by the Office for National Statistics, ONS, Household Finances Survey on Wednesday, the median disposable income for the poorest fifth of the population dropped 3.8% in the financial year through March 2022, while wages and benefits payments also failed to keep up with skyrocketing inflation. The data exposes how the squeeze is increasing inequality in the UK as an unbridgeable gap opens between opens up excuse me between the highest 
and lowest income households. In other words, there won't be any middle class, but only the rich and poor classes, respectively. It also shows the struggle to raise living standards since the nation voted to quit the European Union in 2016 as Britain's slowing economy weighs on wages. The median household disposable income declined by 0.6% from the 2021 financial year, with worse expected to come as inflation toppled four decade highs last November. I notice they're not speaking too much about inflation in the news. I wonder why. By the end of the period covered by the ONS data, inflation had surged to 7%. Meanwhile, the richest fifth enjoyed 1.6% growth versus a 3.8% drop for the worst off and a 2.4% slump for the second poorest fifth of households. And so the rich get richer and the poor gets poorer. And here they have a chart. Figure three, median income fell by 3.8% for the poorest fifth of people, whilst increasing by 1.6% for the richest fifth of people in financial year ending FYE 2022. Median on we valized household disposable income of individuals by quantile group UK financial year ending FYE 2020, FYE 2021, and FYE 2022. Since the Brexit vote, living standards in Britain have barely increased. The poorest fifth have seen their median disposable income plunge from just above 16,002 117 pounds, which is equivalent to 20,027 US dollars in 2016 to 2017, to 14,508 pounds, equivalent to 17,918 US dollars in 2021 to 2022. By contrast, the richest fifth have gone from 63,002 101 pound, 78,044 US dollars to 66,002 cents a pound, which is equivalent to $81,503. During the latest year, the increasing divide was driven by wages and salaries, which dropped 7.5% for the poorest households and grew 7.8% for the richest. This concludes the article. And so inflation is further squeezing, pardon me, the lives of the poor, not just in the UK, but also our lad across the globe. Even here in America, Babylon the Great, even though it is not being talked about much in the news. So... Let's not forget to maintain a watch on inflation. In fact, eggs have been, you know, going a little bananas as of late in regards to their prices because of inflation. (laughs) Anyhow, in other news from the Sputnik, Berlin's decision to send Leopard 2s to Ukraine historically wrong, German MP says. On Wednesday, German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius made it clear that Ukraine will get the Leopard 2 tanks not earlier than in three to four months. German lawmaker Savim Dag Delen has lashed out at Berlin over its move to provide Kyiv the country's Leopard 2 main battle tanks. You're now in a very bad situation. 
because I think it's a historically wrong, sick decision. For it's against the majority of the population in Germany. According to new polls, the majority in Germany is against sending battle tanks to Ukraine. The majority is in favor for more diplomacy for a negotiated peace in Ukraine. Dag Delen, who is member of the left party, told a German news outlet on Thursday. She argued that sending the German tanks to Ukraine is in the interest of the United States military industrial complex because their thesis, if they get lost, then they can supply their own tanks to Ukraine, is the interest of an elite of neocons in the United States who are having the position that Europe is like Latin America for the United States in the 70s and a continent where you can do what you please. And that's really a problem, the German lawmaker noted. And so this is the perspective of why I am reading this article to further show us that America's allies have been hating America. Okay, the scripture says in the book of Revelation, the 17th chapter, that the beast shall hate the whore. Pardon me. And in the book of Obadiah, that all the men of her confederacy have deceived her. Make no mistake, America's allies have been beginning to hate her because they have been seeing that America Babylon the Great has really been the only one to benefit from the ongoing crisis that has been going on in Europe since last year. Who bono, who stands to benefit? The U.S., who would stand to benefit from the sabotaging of the Nord Stream pipelines? The U.S. And also Britain, those that sell liquefied natural gas. Okay. But what about the other European nations? Do they stand to benefit or do they suffer? And the answer to that question is the latter. They suffer. And they know that they're suffering. They know that by continuously supplying weapons to Ukraine will only prolong the conflict in Europe between the Ukraine and Russia. And it will only really ultimately stand to benefit the U.S. Hence the reason why this statement was made. It's the interest of an elite of neocons in the United States who are having the position that you're in in the Latin America for the United States is in the 70s. And by the way, it's historically proven that the Democrats love war. So a lot of you jakes out there that support <laughs> ESA's uh, Democratic Party, guess what? Just know that they are known historically for indulging in a lot of war in contrast to Republicans. Either way, they're simply two wings of the same bird. So it really doesn't matter who you support. It says, in a continent, so-called, in a continent where you can do what you please. And that's really a problem. And not just a problem for Germany, but also for France and the other European nations. And they've expressed their frustrations in the past. Germany, on one account, had stated that the U.S. is been profiteering off of the conflict in Europe between Russia and Ukraine. That's what they said. So that clearly shows that they have been brewing 
that hatred for the for the whore. And in due time, they will publicly express that. And according to biblical prophecy, they will eat her flesh and burn her with fire. According to Revelation 17. Now, reading on, Dagdalen added that she was very concerned that this is not the last decision taken by Berlin because sending the Leopard 2 tanks to Kiev is not a game changer. In the long term or in the medium term, they, the Leopard 2s, will not change anything on the ground in Ukraine because Russia will react. She stressed calling for a diplomatic sol sol solution to the Ukrainian conflict to avoid more senseless killings. It's just simply a proxy war between the U.S. and Russia. That's really what, what it is. But they, ha they have to use certain guises and psyops to be justified and oh see well they need more weapons we have to send them more weapons we have to send them more aid money it says the remarks follow German government and you you, you, you you sheeple you just can't seem to understand that because you, you eat everything that is forced down your throats your mental throats by the the media that's controlled by the global elites. It says, you don't even do no research for yourselves. You just go with, you just go with, the, with the motions, with the flow. It says, on Wednesday, Chancellor Olaf Scholz announced in the cabinet that Germany would further increase his military support for Ukraine. He said that the federal government had decided to provide the Ukrainian armed forces with Leopard 2 main battle tanks. Abby Strait pointed out. Later on Wednesday, U.S. President Joe Biden signed, excuse me, signaled Washington's readiness to send 31 M1 Abrahams to Kiev, adding that the decision was endorsed by U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin and that the move comes as Keith prepares to launch a counteroffensive against Russian forces later this year. Russia has been conducting its special military operations so they're consolidating weaponry since February 24, 2022. The Russian embassy in Germany slammed Berlin's move to send the Leopard 2s to Ukraine as an extremely dangerous decision which shifts the Ukrainian conflict to a new level of confrontation. Berlin's choice means the final rejection of Germany's historical responsibility to the Russian people. The embassy underlines, adding that Germany and its close allies are not interested in a diplomatic resolution, clearly, of the Ukrainian crisis and want to escalate tensions. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov in turn said that the decision to supply the Leopard 2s and the Abrahams to Kiev indicates the West's growing direct involvement in the Ukrainian conflict. Russia has reportedly warned the U.S. and its allies against sending military aid to Kiev, something that Moscow says adds to prolonging the Ukrainian conflict. This includes the article. Remember that the perspective is this America's allies are beginning to hate her even more okay it's evident and it's very obvious through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai because it is written in Revelation 17 that according to biblical prophecy They will hate the whore and the ten horns, which represents the EU, which thou sawest upon the beast, NATO. These shall hate the whore, which is a mark of Babylon the Great, and shall make her desolate and naked. And how are they going to do that? Through thermonuclear fire. And shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. That is thermonuclear fire. Okay. 
and even France and many different accounts had expressed how they and the rest of Europe need to learn how to rely on themselves and not the U.S. because they feel as if they're being played by America, Babylon, the Great. But obviously that they're not going to come out and, you know, fully say this in a more uh, aggressive way because America spearheads NATO. She's the whore that's sitting upon the beast. Okay? 70% 70, 70 of the NATO military is the U.S. military. And the remaining rest, that of uh, its allies. Now, in other news from the press TV, Doomsday Clock, 90 seconds to midnight. Doomsday Clock, said by the U.S.-based magazine Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists, has been moved to 90 seconds to midnight. That's the closest ever to total nuclear doom. And what we've been, what we've been seeing and hearing are simply wars and rumors of wars. Because the Tauros War will not happen yet until the Mark of the Beast, which is the RFID microchip, has been mandated globally. Okay, which is a physical device, a physical implantable microchip that is the size of a small grain of rice. That's the closest ever to total nuclear doom, the global catastrophe. The clock had been set to 100 seconds since 2020. The bulletins, signs, and security board and a group of sponsors which includes 10 Nobel lecturers have focused on Russia's war on Ukraine. Their terminology as the main reason. Yet, they did not bother to explain nonstop American rhetoric. The U.S. is the only nation that adopts first strike in a nuclear confrontation. And the fact that this is a U.S. proxy war, you see, against Russia, with Ukraine used as, a, as cannon fodder. Right. It's simply just a proxy war. But, you know, you people out there, you, you really truly believe, you know, that uh, Russia is, is, is the ultimate and original aggressor. They've been, you know, planning this since 2014 when they had that coup in Ukraine. You should watch the uh, movie, not movie, the documentary entitled The Confession of an Economic Hitman by, by John Perkins. And he tells you what they do. It says, in fact, I have it uploaded on my channel. If you just type it in, in the search box, you'll, you'll see it. You'll find it. It says, the bulletin also attributes malignant designs to China, Iran, and North Korea. While mentioning only in passing that the last remaining nuclear weapons treaty between Russia and the United States, New Start, stands in jeopardy. Unless the two parties resume negotiations and find a basis for further re reductions, the treaty will expire in February of 2026. As it stands, the prospects of a U.S. Russian negotiation on New Start are less than zero. Now, cue to Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov making it very clear that war against Russia is not hybrid anymore. It's, all, it's almost real. Almost, in fact, means 90 seconds. <laughs> So why is this all happening? The mother of all intel failures, former British diplomat Alistair Croak has concisely explained how Russian wrestlers, much in the spirit of Iranian wrestlers past four decades, completely smash the assumptions of Anglo-American intelligence. Talk about the mother of all intelligence failures. In fact, even more astonishing, than the non-existent Iraqi WMDs in the run-up to shock and awe in 2023. Anyone with a brain knew Baghdad had discontinued its weapons program already in the 1990s. Now the collective West committed the entire way of its financial resources to crushing Russia in every conceivable way. Via financial, cultural, and psychological war, and with real military war, 
as a follow-through. And yet Russia held its ground, and now reality-based developments prevail over fiction. The global south is peeling away into a separate economic model, no longer dependent on the dollar for its trading needs, i.e. Saudi Arabia's decision to dish the U.S. dollar which is pretty big, it says, and the accelerated collapse of the U.S. dollar increasingly plunges the empire into a real exist, ex, existent crisis. Existential crisis, excuse me. All that hangs over a South Vietnam scenario evolving in Ukraine after a rash government-led political and military purge. The Coke comedian whose only role is to beg nonstop for bags of cash and loads of weapons is being progressively sidelined by the Americans, aware of traveling CIA directives. The game in Kiev, according to Russian sources, seemed to be that the Americans are taking over the Brits as handlers of the whole operation. The co-comedian remains, for now, as a soak puppet while military control over what is left of Ukraine in, is entirely NATO's. Well it, is already, well, it already was, but now, formally, Ukraine is the world's first de facto NATO member without being an actual member, enjoying less than zero national sovereignty and complete with NATO Nazi stormtroopers weaponized with American and German tanks in the name of democracy. It a, <laughs> it's, it's reading this shit is funny as hell, man. <laughs> Woo! Man. Now... I'm not going to read the rest of it, but I will leave it as the point has been read already in the description box of the lesson, Lord's Willing. Okay, and I'll conclude the lesson here. Let's get Ezekiel again, chapter 7, verse 26 and 27, and then conclude the article. Not the article, I'm sorry, the lesson. <laughs> in the news. Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 25 Destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and there shall be none. So destruction cometh. And in a time of destruction, when it do come when it does cometh, people will attempt to seek peace and there shall be none. And in fact, when they will be promised peace and safety, according to first Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3, that is when destruction will come upon them suddenly. And there shall be none. All these things will happen during the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay? Read, say, Matthew 24, verse 12, Second Genesis 15. There will be famines, uproars of the people, all these different things, man. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Bad news after bad news, mischief after mischief. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet. Well, we got to find out why all these things are happening. Oh, I remember those guys who used to be in the street corners. Guess what, though? You won't be able to find them. Okay, you won't be able to find the true prophets of Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai. Instead, all you'll have, all you, all you'll have, is those false prophets: Jesse Jackson, T.D. Fakes, Joe Lowstein, Creflo, Give Me Your Dollar. Okay, the leaders of our people, which cause them to ear. But the Lord shall perish from the priests and counsel from the ancients, because the Lord is going to cut off all access to His understanding, to His knowledge, to His word, which will lead the stability of the next times in those days of evil when destruction cometh so with that i would pray this lesson was edifying and informative to the elect until the next i say shalom to the elect